Hello everybody and welcome to the special edition of Rover Curiosity and the best evidence I've found thus far supporting my hypothesis that we're looking at possible shells and fungi on Mars. He has a screenshot from Ancient Alien Season 12, Episode 9. This was way back in 2017. I wish I could show you the video clip, but obviously due to copyright, we can't do that. So I'll just read the quote. This is from Ellen Stofan, NASA Chief Scientist. Listen to this bold statement. I think we are going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade and I think we are going to have definitive evidence within 20 to 30 years. This bold statement makes me think that they know something that we don't. Potentially they have all the evidence, they just haven't released it yet. Let's have a look at the evidence I've gathered so far and you can decide for yourself. We're going to be covering a multitude of Rover Curiosity photographs in this presentation. So grab your favorite soda and snack, sit back and enjoy. So are we looking at Sol 2356? This is from the Amali camera. And we're looking at the item located to the bottom left. And he has an ultra close up zoom that I put together for you guys and girls and there's what I compare it to it looks like a sea urchin it's even got these sort of grooves on it obviously fossilized very old perhaps and we're looking at Sol 35 Four, five from the mast camera and we'll be zooming in on the item to the bottom left check this out folks it's also got this weird donut shape hole in the center and there the two examples are that we just checked out then we're looking at Sol 3610, the mast cam, and we'll be zooming in on the item located to the bottom right. It also looks like one of these sea urchin fossils, but something's lying in the hole, a small stone perhaps. And all these items I'm showing you are small, I, I reckon about an inch in diameter or maybe a little bit smaller and then we're looking at the comparison check out the similarity it's uncanny right then we're looking at Sol 3603 from the Mali camera and we'll be zooming in on the item right there and this reminds me of barnacles that we find here on earth the hole so it's a very irregular hole just like we have here with the two examples the Mali camera took this photograph on the same sole and we'll be zooming in on the items over there to the left and I'm not quite sure if I should compare these two mushrooms like a fungi or barnacles looks like something's lying in the opening of that one but I don't know folks these things are so strange Sol 3610 and we're looking at the photograph taken by the mast camera and we'll zoom in on the items to the bottom check these out we've all got these strange I don't know donut shapes with the small parts 
in the centers, there's one with a hole in it. And this to me looks like fungus growing out the side of here. Mushrooms? I've got no idea. Right, still a soul 3610, mast cam, and we'll zoom in on the items over there in this photograph. And again, check out the perfect shape and size of these similar items. They don't look like pebbles. These things have got these smaller protrusions in their centers. And this, yeah, to me looks like a mushroom. The mast camera took this on the same sole, and we'll zoom in on the item to the top. And there's an ultra zoom for you. Check out this strange item. There's another one of those donut shapes with the smaller part in the center. Sol 3610 and the chem cam took this photograph and we'll zoom in on the items to the top right and again folks to me this looks like some type of fungal growth this to me is irrefutable evidence of ancient or present life on Mars. The shells, okay, they look fossilized, but those fungi, they look like they're still growing, that they're alive. But I don't know, do you think NASA knows that these are potential life signs on Mars and they're just keeping quiet? Why do they make a bold statement like this, but they don't say anything about the evidence I've just shown you. Are they covering something up? Why are they withholding the information for so long? I hope you enjoyed this special edition. Let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think of these. What do you think of my hypothesis? Are we looking at potential current and ancient life signs on Mars? Or is it just weird geology that produced these weird objects. I look forward to reading those. Take care everybody. I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye for now.